Chris Mashlangu has already given at least two versions of what happened on the night the AWB leader died. His lawyers didn't want to risk him giving yet another on the stand. The teenage boy charged with him also declined to testify. If either of them were to go into the box, you're going to unleash them, illiterate, uneducated, ignorant as they are, to a flood of questions and the sophistication by a, a, a highly qualified and experienced uh, you know, prosecutor. That weighed heavily, uh, heavily in our consideration. It's a blow for the Turblanche family. I'm very disappointed. It's clear that he wanted to talk. Why he does not want to testify now? I'm unhappy. It's not right. The state alleges the duo bludgeoned her blanche to death following a drinking spree at his Fentersdorp farm two years ago. They've pleaded not guilty. The court's previously thrown out key evidence against the teenager. Now, more evidence has been ruled inadmissible. A statement Matlango allegedly made that implicated the minor in the killing. It will not be in the interests of justice to allow the admissions made by accused one in exhibit HH as evidence against accused two. There is forensic evidence that links Matlangu to the crime scene. Blood was found on his overalls. And without a chance to grill Matlangu on the stand, prosecutors are hoping that and his admissions will be enough to make their case. Closing arguments will be heard next week. Judgment is expected in May. Valdi Karlsa, SABC News, Fentus.